Hi, I'm Rob. And I'm Katie. And this is episode 52. Year 2, season 2. Of... K-R-O. 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 That was not rehearsed. If you ever thought this was ever rehearsed, <laughs> you clearly didn't see episode 50. None of this is rehearsed. Welcome back. How was your Thanksgiving? How was your Thanksgiving? How was your holiday? Katie, how was your Thanksgiving? Um, it was fantastic. She assumes because it hasn't happened yet. But it probably will be. Why? We are pre-filming, but... Why, why do we assume it's fantastic? Because it's your holiday. It's and my holiday. You like and it. I go we have a 21 and a half pound turkey for two people. Two people. Plus, we're gonna, we've are gonna we got the fixings for a... Uh, or we're getting the fixings for the uh, green bean casserole. Mm -hmm. We're probably going to make some kind of cheesecake type brownie. Yes. Said, by we, I mean her. I'm going to make my homemade eggnog. Oh, which brings us to a certain topic here. But we're going to get to it in a second. And then we have other stuff. Stuffing. Oh, man, I'm so excited. Actually, I said the eggnog. I wasn't trying to give myself a leeway, or a segue, but now I have the segue, so I feel like I have to yes. capitalize the segue. All right, we're talking about eggnog today. What have we got? There's a lot of eggnogs out there now. It, there are. I mean, there were so many that were also just, like, dairy-free options. There was like a coconut lot. and almond milk and oat milk, and then I thought that, that would be... That's an entire other episode. Entire other episode. We wanted to at least compare like things. Now... We have a few. There was one that we saw that we decided not to get. Yeah, because it was like 11 or 12 bucks. And that was, was the most bucks. expensive by far. And while I'm curious to see if it's actually worth the $11 for like a half gallon. Mm -hmm. um, Probably just make your own. We're, we have a couple other more expensive ones we're going to try first and see what this takes us. So, of yes. course, we've got the Altadena, the store, store brand Kroger. We have Promised Land Dairy. And we have Brugrash. I think it's Brugere. Brugere. I was close. Brugere. Brugier? Brugier? Brugier. We're just going to go with Brugier. Bruges. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, and so that's what we're trying today for eggnog. What do we know yes. about the history of nog? So it, it has been around for a very long time. Yeah, that's right. It was John Nog <laughs> no. from the town of Egg, no. which I believe is a town somewhere. Is it probably? It has to be a town. No, so it is from, you know, like the UK kind of geographic location. It okay. has... Some say it's actually kind of like an offshoot of posset, which was this old timey drink where they would like have curdled, like lemon posset. I think kind of like that, but it was like a drink. Oh, so it was something where they like curdled milk and they put like wine or beer. Because essentially, eggnog is just it's kind of like a custardy, you know, egg and cream and sugar, and then usually there's some kind of a spirit kind of added to it. The spirit is, I think, completely optional, depending on how the eggnog itself mm -hmm. is. I think some eggnog, especially homemade, can be quite good by itself, but otherwise with a bit yeah. of rum or brandy uh, can be fantastic. Very good. And so what they also said, it's sometimes known as like milk punch or egg, egg milk punch or something like that, because it's literally just what it is. Um, and, and there's some theory that says that it's called eggnog is because there used to be like like a wooden, it's Ooh. not like a stein, but it's kind of like that, that like a wooden a pub called a, no, a noggin. So oh, a noggin, I, I think a noggin used to be a, uh, a Not unit just of, your head. Well, yes, but it used to be like a, I think it was actually like a unit of measurement, which would explain why mm -hmm. it was like, oh, yeah, I'll take a noggin of something. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. So that's about it. I mean, there, there were actually lots of fun facts, but that was But that's just about too long. eggnog itself. Yes. So now we've got these four. What order are we taking this in? We'll go two at a time. I think we will do from right to left, just because of how much... Well, yep. they're right to left. Carry on. Um, <laughs> Someone's right to left. Yes. Because this is going to be our cheapest option today, even though usually I think it would be the Kroger. Yeah, but this one we found reduced the two, two bucks. So Don't we'll know see. why. Yeah. Doesn't, yeah. Okay. But I think that it'll be like, this is a fairly popular brand, I think, Altadena, and then these are the more obscure. Upscale. Vibe. And they do go up in calories. We got 170, 170, 200, 229, mm. uh, which is all very interesting. So it must be like lots of whole Although the carbs, we were looking at 26, 32, for, for those of you that care about this, 19, 19. So these actually have, are more carbs. Sugar, which is an important thing to consider, I think, because no matter what, your knock's going to be... It's sugary. Of, it's okay. sugary. It has to be sugary. 
uh, <clears throat> we're looking at uh, 18, uh, what did I say, sugar is 1925. Wow. And 25. It's oh, wait, with 17 grams of added sugars, with, oh, total sugar is 25. Okay. Well, I'll yeah, be interested if any of them have like gelatin. What? Added. Well, because you know how, so technically it's kind of like a, a custard, right? Yeah. Because it has eggs and it has like a cream or a milk base. But to cut corners, to also make sure that it's shelf stable and it still maintains that they add thickness, they, add gelatin. they usually use some kind of a thickening agent. So I would be surprised, but I don't know if any. You know, and I feel like if you're using, like, I like the color of these. Well, at least this one. Like, if that one's just straight up yellow. It is just yellow. But if you're adding things like caramel color or turmeric, which is what this one adds, turmeric, mm. you're kind of cheating. Like, that's not what it actually looks like. It looks good. A guar gum. Yeah, like... So, so that's the thickening agent. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this one's the same thing. Guar gum. Uh, I don't see high fructose corn Even these have high fructose corn syrup in it. Both Those these. ones? Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. uh, this one has guar gum, locust bean gum. That doesn't... That sounds like... Artificial flavor, FTNC, yellow 5. Oh, yellow 5, red 40, yellow 6. It has red 40 in it? Yeah, red forty is actually legal in the UK or in the in the EU. People think it's not. It it is. Oh, it is actually a thing. They um actually they allow the the EU allows for more colored dyes than they do in America. Really? Yeah. People think like oh okay so that means like red forty has been banned. It actually has not. Oh. That's not true. It actually goes by a different name. It's something like E one seven zero or something else. Strange. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then this one of course is well non-fat milk, cream, sugar, egg yolk contains less than one percent of whey, cornstarch, guar gum, salt, and nutmeg. Okay, so it has the cornstarch and the agar gum. Is that yeah. what you said? Guar, guar gum. Guar, guar. And that they all have like guar. Yeah, and they all carrot, carrageenan. All of them have that as well. Okay. Whatever. Okay, so we're gonna get started. We're gonna pour this into some glasses, so we can uh, see what they look like, and then we're gonna determine the best. And I'm gonna tell you right now, the best way, much like with our marinara, the best way to have your eggnog is what. Uh, to make it yourself? Yes. At home. Homemade. Uh, and there's a few ways we can do that. We're not going to give you the recipe, but you can check out our shorts where that would be popping up in the very near future. We're going to show you how to make a great cup of eggnog at home. Non-alcoholic or alcoholic if you want it. Um, both with raw and with gently boiled eggs. We'll tell you the different techniques to do that uh, if you have So we're going to have like twice as much? No, I'm not going to make two batches. I'm just going to, because I don't have to necessarily, because oh. really one is like either you bring it to like almost to a simmer or then you don't. Yeah. Katie prefers it slightly boiled because she feels it's, it's safer. It's not only from a safety perspective, but I think that it makes it creamier longer. It does. All right, so it does make it a little bit creamier longer. Uh, but that being said, even if you if you were to use raw egg, which is really what most of the stuff calls it's for, the, it's the traditional way. Right, it's the traditional way, but also any risk or any sickness I can get is going to be on the outside of the egg, on the shell. Nothing mm -hmm. penetrates the shell. That's why the shell is well protected for the jet, right? Mm -hmm. um, so if you even if you just boil the shell for about twelve seconds in boiling water, it actually you, you should be fine. Mm -hmm. But that's you know when they say like don't eat the raw cookie dough, it's not because of the egg. It's actually from the flour. From the flour, you can get E. coli. Yeah. It's actually way worse. Oh, you can get salmonella? No, you can get something way worse than salmonella. Anyway. Um, On that health and safety note. Exactly. Uh, we will be back in just a second. Now, it's important, apparently, that you shake your nog. You want to tell us about Altadena while we prep this? Sure. So, Altadena is actually from California. It's been around since 1945. I miss these kinds of cartons, actually. You don't I think they have them as I guess you're right. They don't. They're, more, they're mostly now. those plastic. I hate ones. the plastic. I hate plastic for a lot of reasons, but like this is there's nothing wrong with this. And you just it's easy to sip. In in, in uh, like Canada, no, just, it's just in a bag. That also makes sense because you stick that in a pitcher and it pours yeah. out super easily. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is from California. That yeah. makes sense. The name like Altadena. Yeah. So, uh, wait, it's founded by like three brothers, and now it's um actually a hundred percent farmer. Like it's a cooperative. Oh, that also sounds very Californian. Yes. So, and it's from um, Monrovia, California. I don't know where that is. Not, I mean, not ter terribly far away, but I mean, it's... Is it like more than an hour? Probably. Yeah, it's terribly far away. I mean, I'm everything sure. is more than an hour. If you go two miles, it's an hour. That's true. Okay, is that everything you know about Altadena? Pretty much. I couldn't find, like, too, too much. They have recipes on their website, though, for, like, 
using their various products. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. I uh, I can I could do the history of this. This one is Kroger brand. They are a store, and uh, that is their history. They have nothing to say. I assume. Is that accurate? Yeah. Sure. All yeah, right. Right out the gate, uh, the Kroger looks like milk. It Did just, it pour like milk? It kind of poured like milk. Yeah, too. it's kind of. It's not very viscous. Yeah. This has a little bit more thickness to it. It's got more of a yellow color. Again, though, I, I hate to say this, but like the yellow color on all of these that we're about to try looks fake. Is well, they're all kind of fake, but I'm going to discredit all of them because they all use some either even the expensive ones here. Mm -hmm. They use either caramel color or turmeric to color, and that's cheating. If your eggs don't do that naturally, I think it has something to do also with like longevity of the. Color? I have no idea. Uh, the point is like it's we know that the turmeric like there's no reason to add turmeric to this. It's not adding yeah. flavor. It's probably not adding preservatives to it, right? It's for turmeric and caramel color, right? Like so probably not. No, I would say they're they're doing it for to give it slightly more yellow color, but hmm. that's cheating as far as I'm concerned. So fully discredited on the color. Yeah, this is spectrum. actually very like milky and not thick. It should be. Creamy, it should be foamy, it should be, yeah. How's it smell? It smells good. Okay, not bad. It smells a little artificial. Go ahead. Yeah, but I kind of like the Star, whatever they use for Starbucks. That's what it kind of reminds me of. Well, the Starbucks says they use the cheap eggnog for this. Also, if you go to get an eggnog, anything from Starbucks, make sure you, you don't get... Mm -hmm. they, they cut their eggnog with their milk, like 50-50. So just ask for all eggnog, because there's no reason to get it without. Mm. I love nog. It's okay. Yeah, I mean, it's... It's fine. It's got... Mine's so much better than that, though. Well, uh, yes, because yours is a lot thicker, too. It has a little bit of an aftertaste, like, um, I'm thinking maybe from, like, whatever sugar products or something. Like, it, it's still in my tongue, but it's yeah. more the sweetness than it's very the sweet. actual... Well, and that's the thing, is the sweetness shouldn't be overpowering, either. Like, it mm -hmm. should be there, but there should be the taste of the egg, the, uh, the, the, the nutmeg, cinnamon, whatever you put into it should yeah. also be really at the forefront. It should be a mix of, it should be a spiced drink. So, okay, it's... Oh, and this doesn't have like... Specs or anything in it. It's fun. Real, I mean, no. like very negligible amounts. Do you think that if you were, cause, cause I thought it could be drunk hot or cold. Sure. Would it be better okay. hot? That's what I was gonna say. Do you think this one would hold up being like... Warm. In a hot drink of some sort? Probably not. I mean, we could, I don't know. No? Okay, we're not going to do that. You figure it out yourself. Okay, I mean, that is acceptably average to me. Yeah. Okay. It, it's okay. I mean, I wouldn't be upset that if someone had faker. that. That smells faker. Are we surprised? No. I don't like that smell. This, the Altadena smells better. I agree. Uh-oh. No. Oh my god, it's like medicine. Oh, that is disgusting. It's like medicine? It's like, it's like... Do you it's think it's like a Mylanta? <laughs> yeah, it's got like a weird like medicine. Like chalkiness? Medic medicinal. Medicinal. <laughs> okay. Kroger, stop making food. It sucks. No, I mean like, see, like probably like just their the regular The only thing they had that was good was those was Oreos. the Oreos because it's mostly chemicals. That's why. It was the only one that was good. Everything else out of Kroger has been complete and utter crap i would like to know if you work for better... kroger quit quit no. and find a better job i'm sure they have pretty good benefits or whatever i don't know a company but that large i don't actually know potentially kroger who knows well, they god kroger you suck <laughs> i'm sorry like i love eggnog i love eggnog so much okay do you think there's a way to save that no that is disgusting i'm not look here's the thing you can take a good i'm eggnog. just annoyed that we got like a half i got half done. <laughs> here well it was like two dollars here's the thing you can take a good thing and turn it into other cool things, and you can sometimes spruce up a bad thing, like, all right, I can kind of do something with this. I'm and not going to drink this beer, good. but I can turn it into a beer bread, and that's going to be good, and that's going to be fine and passable. Yeah. Uh, this is such crap. You have, The amount of work you'd have to do to make this even passable for anything, get the hell out of my face. No, you disgust me. And, uh, yeah, wait, but, so, so clearly... God is crying. So cl clearly Altadena knocks Kroger out of the water. I mean, unless... I don't know. I'm gonna say the CEO of like Promising can come up here, spit in my cup, make me drink that, and say, "Oh, that is uh, that's our eggnog." I could be like, you know what? Probably still tastes better. I'm sorry, that's me. Anyway, after this minor rant off screen, we're gonna be back with our next two entries. All right, tell us about Promise Land. Okay, so Promise Land has been around since 1987. It's actually from Texas. Okay. They used to have glass bottles. 
They do not have glass bottles anymore. Oh, so disappointing. I don't. It, it said it had something to do with like preserving and like longevity. And it's this it's is, for cost. Let's it not has pretend. To be, it's not. You don't plastic. No, glass is same glass thing. Is well, better. the same thing with the Brugere. I think. I think they used to also have glass bottles. Glass glass is and it's more expensive. But, I'm, but I'm not say whatever. It, right? Point is, glass is probably more expensive. One, it's aesthetically pleasing. Two, I could reuse the damn glass bottle. You mm -hmm. could probably have us like, hey, turn it in and yeah. whatever, get a discount or something, whatever. So, oh, they, um, so Promised Land is kosher certified by the, um, Orthodox, well, Orthodox Union. Oh, okay. for Jewish folk? Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So if that is important to you, maybe this would be an option. Um, they used to actually be an ice cream, like, yeah, an ice cream dairy. So they used to actually sell a bunch of different ice creams. Which now is right up their alley then. But they don't do that anymore. So now it's all these different kinds of flavored milks and stuff. But supposedly it's kind of like they took their ice cream recipes. Because how are you going to compete with Ben and Jerry's? I mean, they're, they're cream. Um, <laughs> let's be honest. I really want to go to, to Ben and Jerry's factory in Burlington, Vermont. That would be so Should've fun. Should have done that while we were living there. I know. We thought about it when we were driving and then out west and we were, we were through Vermont. I was like, oh, wouldn't that be fun? And then we uh, we couldn't. We didn't even stop. No. Anyway. So anyway, they took their some of their recipes from the ice cream and kind of like reverse engineered them to just be milk-based products. Milk-based. That seems yeah. like a step backwards. Look, I mean, think about eggnog. It is essentially the same ingredients you oh, would yeah. do to For make milk. ice cream. No, I know. They just didn't shake it. They, so they so, just removed the machine shakers. To the base of the shape the machine yeah, that shakes yeah. the yeah huh guess it didn't require them to overhaul did you sniff it you tasted it didn't you <sighs> you just were you excited i was a little excited you know it's a lot it's creamier thicker. it doesn't it, it doesn't shake thicker no like it, it's still it's still not very viscous but it is um like it's more on the the mouth feel that that it or, seems, yeah, good. It seems creamier. You know, I think it would benefit from having just a little bit more like Flavor. nutmeg or yeah. It doesn't taste like much, it. but it is closer to what we're looking for. There's th yeah. yeah. I think that one would be good hot or or not hot, but like warm. Like if yeah. you were to put that in, like well, a if you boil it, it's really disgusting. Cooking. Well, yeah, because it curdles, but yeah. Steamed. Okay. That's what I meant. Steamed. Now. Roger. Old fashioned eggnog. Milk so, so fresh the cow doesn't know what's missing. That's weird. That's weird. Okay. So that's from Montebello in California. They have been around since 1920. They are a, I believe they're a family owned business and they are still, still open and you can like go and get their. The, the yellow That's, is the, kind of the yellow is too yellow. It, it's, yeah. it's it's not an egg yellow. Sorry, I got distracted it, when I was like, oh. It's wow. that is a that is an artificial yellow. So this is the one I think that uses caramel color. Uh, I think this uses turmeric. Uh, this one does. Okay, we got oh, both this of, is the one that uses all the fake color. Gotcha. Yeah. So we we got both of these because they had cows on them and they were cute. I mean, it feels a little more. Just the look of these makes them look, feel look and feel a little more upscale. Yeah. Right. Um, and they were, well, you'll see price-wise how, how that was. But okay, what else we need to know about... Uh... That is all I could find. Like... Oh. Again, so family-owned, but you guys aren't really talking much about your the family, the history, or anything like that. Not really. Disappo that's, that is disappointing. Maybe it was just because I was on the mobile version of the... I don't know. It... What the hell do you think this smells like? It's not... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hold on. So my first thought was Fruit Loops. Yeah, it does. This, <laughs> Why this, does it smell like Fruit Loops? This smells like Fruit no. Loops. It oh does boy. Have, it, it does have some specks of like What we hope is nutmeg? seasoning and nutmeg or something in it. All right. Why does it smell so sweet? Go for it. It's got the most sugar. Or just about the most sugar. Why does it taste like Fruit Loops? Um... That's thick. That's like, it's a, that's like it's a, sticky in your mouth. It's all that. I think they put too much like war gum crap in it. That tastes like Fruit Loops, but not like a, not like a, oh, I want Fruit It's like if you let the, if you blended Fruit Loops and milk and made a gel, that's what this is. Uh -oh. I think 
You know, we, we could salvage wow. this. No. We could salvage it. You're going to salvage okay. it. Go so ahead. This, is, this is my thought process, okay? Go ahead. We ah. make it into an ice cream. Okay? Okay. We, like, churn it. Maybe get one of those ones that you can, like, shake or... Because you know, we don't have, have one of those, like, ninja creamies or whatever that people have these days. Ninja creamies? Is that yeah, a thing? Yeah, it's a thing. I'll show you later. So, anyway, <laughs> you have that. And then you get some actual Fruit Loops from the store. Crush them up a little bit. Fold them in, kind of like how you You're going to make a like, Fruit Loop ice cream? Yes, and I think you could pass it off with that strange color with just like the ultra colored bits of Fruit Loops. Tell someone, hey, I made this from scratch. It's a Fruit Loop ice cream. I think they would go nuts for it. When you are thinking you're getting eggnog, and that's what you get. That is incredibly disappointing. But if you thought you were going to get a Fruit Loop based ice cream and it tastes like Fruit Loops, you'd be happy. Okay, hire me for PR. I, I don't do marketing. And with that, we will be back with our final thoughts, which I think you see where this is going. Gosh. In a second. <laughs> so this episode did not okay. go the way we. Yeah, thought let's it was. let's let's go. Let's just get through this because this this was <laughs> this was actually really unfortunate, and I'm really upset. And uh, they've ruined Christmas and Thanksgiving for me for the rest of my life. This Wait, is miserable. So when you were a kid, what what brand did your folks? Get? I don't. I don't. I don't remember. remember. I want the main milk brands. Probably. But not like the store brand. Um, yeah. I'm trying to remember. Like the what are the main milk brands now? I don't know. I don't remember. We don't. But we buy Fairless. So I don't remember. Fair, I bet Fairless if they made an eggnog would be amazing. Well, I mean, they already have a chocolate milk one. The, the that chocolate milk really is good. ridiculously good. It's they also addictive. have those um those protein drinks. They do, which are also good. I would, but I'm a little iffy about the protein. I guess we could try them. Oh, I would try mind trying I, protein drinks. That could be an episode. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Anyway, um, all right. Look, we're gonna do this really quick because this is sad and I'm gonna throw up. So, um, fourth. Oh God. I, like both are sh both are crap. What? What? No, not yes. What? You think this one oh, is no, that's worse? Right. No, sorry, this one. This one. Okay. I got okay. it backwards. I got it backwards. <laughs> rotate, rotate. Okay, there you go. Okay. This is your ranking. Uh, is this best to worst? I guess. See me, I think I even though it's thinner, I think I like the Altadena the best. I like the mouthfeel of Promised Land, but I think. Altadena tastes more like what I'm, what I'm going for when I think of eggnog. Mm, it's a little artificial for me. Okay, let me see. The only thing I don't like about the Altadena is it does linger a little too well, much. Well, because it's kind of it's artificial tasting, right? Is there something fake about it? Okay, let me let me go back to the promised land. Is it gonna bring me to the promised land? It's gonna bring me to the bathroom and drink this much of it. I'm also lactose intolerant, so we're in for a good night. <laughs> and we've got one more episode to shoot, and that's about alcohol, right up after this. So I'm going to try to be stumbling for the <laughs> All right, what's your opinion? Okay, if we're going... Well, what do you like? Did you like her? How do you... No, I think the Promised Land does eke it out just a hair. Because it doesn't I taste... I wanted... Because it... it doesn't taste as it artificial. Has... I think if you were to add a little bit of your own, like, cinnamon and nutmeg, this one would be really good. Yes. That, that's what this is. You, you said, can't fix this flavor, I, but you can true. improve you this you flavor. You can't really dampen it. You're right. You're right. Okay, I agree with it. Okay. So this is our pick. For the record, this is hot garbage. Uh, this is Fruit Loops. This is <laughs> I, acceptably okay. average. Would and you... this is slightly better than just acceptably average. Okay, would you try... No. What like it, a different version? Like a chocolate milk or... From them? Yeah. Just well, to not if they can't get egg flavor right. How do you get fruit flavor, Fruit Loops flavor? God, I'm feeling like I'm spinning a bowl. How do you get Fruit Loop flavor <laughs> out of an egg? <laughs> what is in there? All right, look, let's look at the ingredients. What the hell did you guys do? You screwed this up. I thought, Kroger, I thought pissed me off. Like, but then, pasteurized milk, sugar, cream, egg, eggnog base, which includes high fructose corn syrup, egg yolk powder, sure. Sugar, natural uh, flavor, nutmeg, natural flavor, what? Nutmeg, citric acid, locust bean gum, whatever the hell that is, guar gum, potassium sorbate, uh, sodium benzolate, as a preservative, hmm. artificial flavor, whatever. Natural flavors, artificial. Just say flavors. It has flavors. Sorry, that's a that's a Dimitri Martin joke. Uh, FDNC yellow five, red forty, yellow hmm. six, ethyl vanillin, corn syrup, non-fat dairy uh, milk, uh, 
stabilizers, a bunch of other crap. Okay. Vanilla flavor, artificial vanilla flavor, caramel color. How does it taste like Fruit Loops? I I don't know. I hate this. I hate this. Am I having a stroke? Because it tastes like Fruit Loops, you right? No. Because sometimes I taste these things. You're no, like, I know, but no, but when you asked me to smell it, I instantly was like, oh yeah, that's what it smells like. All right. How much does crap cost us? Okay. So our Kroger was four dollars and thirty nine cents for a half gallon. Yep. Um, the Brogier, whatever, whatever this one was, I'm sorry, I don't speak French. <laughs> uh, it was $10 and 99 cents for a quart. Okay. So like, you know, and part of us was like, we were stopping with this more. one. Cause this one is the most expensive out of the four. I am kind of curious about that one. That's like $11. $11 is $11. Yeah, well, maybe we'll try we'll it. So see. keep an eye out for shorts. Maybe we'll do one of those. Um, so the Altadena was reduced to two, but it's usually like five something for a quart. Okay. And then the Promised Land was five dollars and forty nine cents for a quart. I see. Yeah, one point seven five pints, twenty eight fluid ounces. What? Did you just say quart? No, of course not. Okay. Because from Texas, they they march to their own drum. Sure. Huh. Okay. I mean, so honestly, like for price and flavor, I guess this one's not bad. The ultimate is not too, too far off. Um, honestly, are we just, just going to get rid of the fruit? We will. Well, you said you're going to make, make ice cream out of I it. I don't. Well, I no, just, she changed her mind because yes, she's like, oh, I have to actually do that. We still see. got beer that we have not turned to beer bread because she's like, oh, but then I have to actually make the beer bread. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. I mean, to be fair though, like that's that's how it goes for us in general. We start like a significant project, and then we like at the very last second, like, ugh, I've done close enough, and I'm like, hey, how's that sweater coming? You're like, oh, I've knitted it, it's perfectly done, or I've crocheted this this thing, it's perfectly done. Oh, look, what's done? Like, what's all these strings hanging off it? We'll have to weave in the the strands. Do you but, know like, how weaving in the ends is so freaking annoying? I don't. Because you're I'm, gonna find out. Because we're gonna do an episode about yeah. that. <gasps> but weaving in the ends, because here's the thing: you do so much work, and then you just have that last little thing you got to do, and you're like, technically. It's not going to fall apart if I don't weave in the ends. Part of me thought, hey, I would just keep some of them kind of willy-nilly if they were on the inside because you wouldn't have been able to tell, but then you picked it up and then... Well, yeah, because you have all these strings and it looks like one of those fringe jackets. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. Okay, so two places and only two places they can find us, right? It's going to be at Care Compares on YouTube and Instagram. True that. And, <laughs> and, and if they're looking for me, it's going to be at uh with the original Iando on Twitch and uh TikTok. Correct. And there he goes. Oh we also have the website right there too. Yes. So quick sufficient. Yeah, I think what I'll do now is I'll have the two the two things and then it's mm. gonna be like the, the little symbols at the bottom like find us here, find us there. I like it. Yeah. So it's short, changes. it's sweet. Just this like This is season two. This is season two. Do, do, do. That's not, that's not me. I'm not doing a special effect with that. What was that? What was that face? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. This is awful. Make your own eggnog. Look out for a short coming up. That'll be a YouTube uh, recipe but, short. But does it up. make you feel at least a little bit better that your insistence on making your own... Confirm for me that my yeah. stuff is far better than yeah. this. You don't, you don't drink much of it when no, I do because, make it. Do you know why? Because it is so thick and just like... But it is... It, it, I'm gonna it barely fills touch you, these. It, it fills you very quickly when he makes his. But he makes like a giant thing. Again, I make a gallon. Again, there are time. two of us. Yeah. Do you know how much we already have to eat for Thanksgiving? So much turkey. So much, so I many love, sides. love turkey. And then of course we, we still have to have the, the dessert because, come on, like you Thanksgiving is not Thanksgiving without dessert, okay? <sighs> but it, it is a struggle. I'm Rob. And I'm Katie. And if you drink this eggnog, I got nothing. I want them all to die in a fire. If, if there's one that you think is redeemable, please let us know. We are willing to try Give us it. a better eggnog. This is crap. Please. If not, this is your PSA to not try some of, some of the brands. Don't, don't, don't. don't Unless even. you really care for Fruit Loops. I mean, it's going to be a more, we're going to, they would get a boost in sales just be like, really? Fruit Loops? So, you yeah, know, I guess I, you're welcome, whatever the hell your name is, Promise Lake, whatever. That's not no, Promise Lake. Br br whatever, get that off. <laughs> good night, good luck, and...
make your own eggnog.